This is a video to show the finalized version of our Monster Be Gone. I wanted to have a good case that kind of fit the look and feel and still was solid. So I ended up to get one that fit and was solid. I ended up actually buying a real Pelican 1200. So this was a brand new Pelican 1200 case that I modified to kind of make it look crazy and just to give you a size of scale there's a screwdriver um, so I did some paint features and some fake uh, tread plate on the sides I wanted just like half of it painted on the back we have the Monster Be Gone logo and then over here on this side I got a couple of uh, uh, like they're supposed to be crocodile crocodile eyes looking out from under the edge there so but other than that it's nothing was drilled on the case it's still a waterproof secure pelican case so it should be really solid and also give the kid a place where they know the thing should be kept so it's not laying all around i'm not sure um if she'll be able to open the case because these are actually pretty tough latches so inside the case this is one of those that has the pick and pick and foam where you just pick out the pieces that you want to remove so we have the foam indentation there uh, and that's kind of a tour of the case so now on the actual monster be gone device this is the rear of it uh, we we have sound on this so we drilled kind of some holes for a speaker feature and put like uh, a piece of grate over there some uh, gold paint to match the case it kind of looks like it was a mistake but it was all very deliberate some stitching here with copper wire that looks like you might see on a monster robot now on the front side we incorporated sound and we incorporated a flashlight and the button is on the right here so just to walk through the features we have a flashlight on top that lights up two lights or all six so it, when the user is looking for a monster in the closet or whatever you can have the light on and not be in total darkness now the uh, button to activate the neopixel ring also acts activates the audio which is just um, my voice saying get ready we're scanning for monsters plus a bunch of computer sounds while it's scanning so let's go ahead and take a look at that get ready mom we're scanning for monsters i kind of made the voice sound like a old world war ii walkie talkie So that's about it it's I made it scan a little longer and then it ends right when the audio says no monsters found so the randomizer on how long it scans I removed the randomizer code so it scans the same time same amount of time every time which I think is 17 seconds now when I showed my granddaughter a mock-up of this she said uh, well if it finds them does it kill them so I thought well I should have even though this is set to never find a monster we do have this feature over here which gives her something if she thinks she sees one she needs to kill it which is a big red like rocket switch and it activates this uh, this right here is actually uh, a siren like you'd see on a cheap alarm so if she thinks there is a monster she can flip that hit this switch 
and it does that siren and it also has an LED in the end of that switch so you turn on the light you go look in the closet you scan hey, Lon, we're scanning for monsters we can scan all around like multiple directions see And then, if you don't believe it, they say there's one down that hallway you want to shoot at. You just you can shoot down there and hopefully get rid of any monsters it didn't find. So, that's about it. And the other thing in this one. I put a tile, the uh, tile devices that you can use with your phone to find out where your stuff is, like people put them on their key ring. There's a tile in here, so if it gets lost around the house or whatever, I can get out my cell phone to figure out where it is.